but let's uh, listen into what sam pitroda earlier said which in fact uh, is the the starting point of this entire controversy of course a step down now for the damage already has been done gandhi family lawyer sam pitroda has stepped down following the controversial statement his racist remarks while referring to india's diversity during an interview he compared indians from different parts of the nation to chinese arabs whites and africans hours after the remarks triggered a political storm leaving the congress party embarrassed sam pitroda stepped down as the chairman of indian overseas congress informing about the same congress's jairam ramesh wrote on social media that pitroda has stepped down of his own accord and that his resignation has been accepted by the congress president but let's first listen to that comment we could hold country together as diverse as india where people on east look like chinese people on west look like arab people on north look like you know maybe white and people in south look like africa we could hold country together as diverse as india where people on east look like chinese people on west look like arab people on north look like you know maybe white and people in south look like africa so you heard sam pitroda there dividing indians based on their appearance and skin color and now let's listen into the latest reaction that has come in from adiranjan choudhury all right before we uh, play out that reaction the bharti janata party has already trained guns at the congress and is demanding an explanation and uh, it wants the gandhi specifically the high command specifically to break their silence in case of sam pitroda as well he has stepped down now like i said the damage already has been done but the bjp constantly asked questions of rahul gandhi they wanted to know what rahul gandhi has to say about uh, his uh, mentor and guide sam pitroda who believes that people from east india northeast india look like chinese those in the west look like arabs those down south look like africans and and people in the north region look like whites and now that adiranjan choudhury has made this comment the bjp in fact is doubling down on their attack on the congress ye demography jo hai hamare desh ki hamare desh ki jo topography ye region jo hai ye regional feature bhi alag alag hote hain हमारा हिंदू हिंदुस्तान में प्रोटो ऑस्ट्रेलियड है मतलब क्लास है मोगोलाइट क्लास है ये तो है ही कोई कोई अपना तरफ से क्या व्यक्तिगत रूप से कोई कुछ कहते हैं वो अपना उनकी राय है इसमें हम तो देखते हैं कि हमारे सारे शिक्षा में यही हमें सिखाए सिखाए जाते हैं सब तो किसी को देखने को नहीं होते कोई सफेद होते कोई काला होते वो ना the comment that you just heard from adiranjan choudhury is what the bjp has picked on now and is slamming the congress party for the same questioning the mindset of the entire party especially the high command who has not taken an action so far or broken their silence mohit bhat is joining us on the broadcast the uh, term that the bjp is referring to used by adiranjan choudhury is often used to describe people of the black african ancestry and it is not used any more it is considered derogatory humiliating uh, you know to use that uh, terminology well in fact swati that word is never been used and it should not have been used that is a derogatory demeaning word for an individual based on his color and hence we see that adhiranjan choudhury when he made that particular statement he in a way was endorsing uh, the statement that has come in from sam petroda the congress party on one hand says the sam petroda who lives in uh, who lives abroad makes a statement that is not the stand of the congress party but now we see senior congress leader of the congress party uh, their alupi in lok sabha who is the uh, Uh, one of the uh, one of the biggest leader who is close to the gandhi family has made such a statement has generalized uh, the the uh, a certain a certain uh, uh, class of people this is something which is very shocking and as uh, we see that the bjp is latching out to it bjp earlier has raised questions that this is the mentality of the congress party uh, that has been echoed by sam petroda and now by adhiranjan choudhury now the bjp says that why exactly is the top brass of the congress party silent on this particular issue why they are not coming out and raising questions on it we saw that how today bjp leaders came out and they basically stated that rahul gandhi malikarjun khadge sonia gandhi should reply on this mayor resignation of sam petroda from the chief of the overseas congress is not enough now while this was happening a shocking statement has come in from adhiranjan choudhury now the, it will be very difficult uh, swati for the congress party to de- the, uh, 
to to uh, uh, cut off themselves from the statement that has come in from Adi Ranjan Chaudhary. That was the case with Sam Petroda, where they stated that his words are not the line of the party. But then Adi Ranjan Chaudhary is contesting elections. He's a senior leader of party. When he had made such a statement, that those words are no, uh, nowhere used in in the uh, whole whole world. These words are considered to be very derogatory in nature. And uh, in many countries, you can be prosecuted for using Absolutely. that particular word. People get offended. So uh, it is uh, an offensive term. That it is an offensive term to call somebody the N word is offensive in many countries and in a lot of countries around the world. There's a debate happening on the usage of the N word. Uh, Mohit, stay on with us. Let's listen into the reactions coming into what Shehzad Punawala is saying. He has highlighted this uh, uh, part of the speech of Adiranjan Chaudhary and is demanding explanation now. Uh, we have uh, Negro and uh, pro proto Australian uh, Mongolian. So, what do you have to say on this? I have always said that what Sam Pitroda had said when he had compared Indians to Chinese, Arabi and to Africans, especially people from South, it was not statement alone of Sam Pitroda, it was sentiment of Rahul Gandhi. And today this has been proven when the tallest leader of Congress in Bengal, tallest leader of Congress in Lok Sabha, Adhi Ranjit Chaudhary officially says, Yes, we endorse Sam Pitroda's theory and yes, Indians are proto-Australian, Indians are Negroes and Indians are Mongolites. And he is saying the word Negro, which is not used even in various countries as it is considered to be apmanjanak and derogatory for African American community. That word is being used and imposed on Indians. That is how Congress looks at Indians after dividing us on religion and caste now on the skin color. And this is same Adhiranjan Chaudhary who said Rashtrapatni for Adivasi president. Now Congress must tell us they did not sack Sam Pitroda. He gave his resignation so it was Vuatu who accepted. Now Adhiranjan Chaudhary has reaffirmed will they take action on Adhiranjan Chaudhary. And today Rahul ji, Sonia ji and Khadge ji must come out and clarify whether they will sack Mr. Adhiranjan Chaudhary. Let's go across to BJP leader Shishir Bajoria joining us on the broadcast. Thank you very much. Your uh, quick comment on the latest that is coming in from Adhiranjan Chaudhary using the uh, N-word and in a very casual manner in fact. I just can't imagine a person today in today's day and age in whichever part of the world using that N-word as you called it. We don't even take it, uh, we don't even pronounce that word. Now, it, to me, Congress is uh, echoing the same line, uh, leader after leader. But as far as Adhir Ranjan Chaudhary Ji is concerned, particularly in Bengal, I think he realizes that very soon he will be ex-MP after decades. He's under huge mental pressure and he's used these words. Congress has to get sack him. If not, uh, there, there are a lot of consequences he will have to face. It just cannot use these words. Mm. Just cannot use these words, but he casually has done that. And uh, Shishir Bajoria, why do you think this continues? First, uh, Mr. Pitroda, who of course has stepped down now, and now it's Adiranjan Chaudhary. What kind of politics are we talking about here? Describing people, categorizing them, generalizing them uh, on the basis of their appearance and skin color, and that too in a very casual manner in 2024. Shameful. There's one word in English, shameful. And this is coming from Congress party leader after leader. It is completely shameful. This is the leadership. First of all, I don't know who's the leader of Congress. Is it Kharge ji, who's the leader uh, formally? Or is it Rahul Gandhi ji, who's the leader behind? Or is it Mata ji? I mean, Sonia Gandhi ji. So in a party who doesn't even have a known leader, this is bound to happen. Shishir Bajoria, would you like to give the benefit of doubt to Adhiranjan Chaudhary that, you know, perhaps he didn't mean it, but uh, just just said it? No, no, no. You cannot. You cannot give benefit of doubt to anybody who uses such a word. Hmm. I am very clear in my mind. You cannot. He used the word Rashtrapati. Hmm. He cannot. Hmm, hmm. All right, Shishir Bajoria, thank you very much for taking those questions. Thank you to Mohit as well for getting us the input. A quick break with that. News and updates will continue.